hey guys welcome back to my channel today i have created this beautiful everyday wear look i have described everything i have how i created this look and also i have shared you guys you know how to use this mascara if you think like you don't know how to use it it's not working or something you like more volumizing mascara this is actually a lengthening mascara how can you use it along with your volumizing mascara if you are first time came to my channel please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so without further ado let's get started so uh today i'm going to do very quick easy makeup i have bought few things from new things from maybelline this mascara some lipstick and you know few new things i'm going to show you guys how you can use it so first i'm going to prime my face i have already it you know moisturized and also i've used a sunscreen now i'm going to prime my face using this maybelline fit me primer this is the matte plus poreless dv one i have kept it i cannot use the dv and dv one anymore because it has started becoming more sweaty and hot here so i have started using this one and this is going to slightly you know cover up my pores next i'm going to you know cover up the gray areas in my face for that i'm going to use the same thing the swiss beauty concealer this is a swiss beauty hd concealer pen So I'm going to blend it using my favorite brush. This shade is a little bit, you know, orangish and a little bit darker than my skin tone. It makes my face look more dark. So I don't like to put it on all over my face and I don't spread it much. I keep it on the places I have a little bit of dark areas. Next, I'm going to add a little bit of foundation. I'm going to use this foundation. This is from MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation and it is in the shade NC43.5. It is, my shade is that. Only thing is it does not have a pump. It does not come with a pump. You can buy a pump if you want. And I'm going to apply it in dots. And then I'm going to blend it using this makeup sponge from Pack Cosmetics. This gives a very beautiful even base. So to add some highlighting effect, I'm going to use the same concealer. This is from ELF 16 Hour Camo Concealer Matte Finish. This is beautifully blending with the foundation. The MAC is one of the, I think, best foundation. It gives a beautiful coverage. For powder, I'm going to use this K Beauty powder in the shade Banana. I'm just going to first set my under eyes before it creases. Even the my eyelids also creases a little bit. So I need to set it as early as possible. And also I'm going to put excess of powder under my eyes.
this is a very good brush this is from morphe m438 i think it might be available at nika very good brush it goes every corner of my face and even this k-beauty powder is also very good and matte next for my eye makeup and my uh, brows i'm going to use this palette this is the dior backstage eye palette it is in the shade uh, 03 amber neutrals it has beautiful neutrals and it's an everyday wear palette it is at higher end side i know but you know you can use it for multi-purpose you can create your eye look very quickly it blends beautifully so first i'm going to fill in my brows this has the shade actually this is exactly my brow hair shade as you can see For setting my brow here, I'm going to use this Huda Beauty Balm Brows Full and Fluffy in the shade Light 04 Light Brown. This is a very good product. It sets the brow here very quickly, very well. You know, it does not leave a chunk of uh, the product in your brows or something. Very good product. I love this brow hair. Next, I'm going to do some eye makeup. I'm quickly going to use this palette. This is beautiful. This shade I love. Beautiful brownie. I'm going to use the mixture of this too. Even this is also a very good shade. And the brush I'm using is from Sigma. This is the diffuse crease brush. It is the number E38. This are the tones are very good, you know, for everyday makeup. It blends beautifully in brown skin. Or even in fair skin tone also. Indian skin tone, um, it blends beautifully because oh, we don't have much red, rather we have red or pink, rather we have browns. Beautiful shadow. Same thing I'm going to do for my use for my nose contour also. Then it will look more blended from the brows. I'm going to take it here and it will look more blended. I'm going to remove the baking under my eyes and then blend the nose contour. These products are very lightweight. All these products are very lightweight. I'm going to contour my lower lash line also, add some shadow. For my lower lash line, I'm going to use this product. I want a little bit reddish to brighten up my lower lash line. Also same reddish shade, I'm going to use it to my upper eyelid also to add more reddish brown. Now I'm going to tight line my upper lash line. Very thin layer, then the mascara is looking going to look beautiful. I'm going to slightly blend the kajal so that if there is a small chunk of kajal it should not you know make my eye makeup messy so the kajal is very soft this is from sugar cosmetics 
and this uh, soft kajals are good for your eyes it does not hurt your eyes but only thing is because they are very soft if you know excess of kajal is there in your eyes then you know bleed or spread everywhere next i'm going to take this hula bronzer benefit hula bronzer and i'm going to bronze up my face i did not use any contour sh shade cream or anything so this is going to give a very soft bronzing for my face perfect for daily wear i have one more shade caramel which is like more gives me more tan look but this one is perfect also i'm going to blend it this brush is very soft and very good taking this california blush I'm going to add some color to my face. This is also a very beautiful peachy blush. It is looking powdery but once we set everything it is going to look blended i'm going to set my face using this holy hydration coconut mist from elf this is a very good product only the pump got broken so i replaced it next i'm going to fill in my lips using this lip liner from k beauty in the shade fame this is very close to my natural lip so i love this lip liner for my everyday use I can wear it by itself it's a beautiful brown but on top of it I want something reddish I'm going to use this lipstick it is in front of me this is a Maybelline Superstay Vinyl Ink in the shade 50 Wicked so next I'm going to use some mascara now I'm going to use a combination of these two mascaras so this is the first one is a sugar lash of titan volumizing i love volumizing mascara but it is not waterproof uh, but this is a lengthening mascara from maybelline i'm going to you know later use once i created the volume i'm going to for lengthening i'm going to use this one and also it's a mask a waterproof it is going to hold stay in my eyes for longer time so this one is going to spread all the lashes So it has spread. Now I'm going to use the Maybelline one. This one is good for lengthening your lashes. So those who has bought this and you know you are not finding this is not working or something you can try this hack you first can use a volumizing mascara and top of it you can use it for more lengthening and i don't go for a uh, highlighter because as you can see the blush was having a little bit of highlighter it is already glowing so i don't want to go for any more highlighter and this is my finished look so I hope you find this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching my video. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.